if I had to pick a meter to win this uh, competition here, I say competition because that's basically what it is, this is probably it. The reason I say that, I mean it has very little features. You can't mess up the leads, you only have two connectors on the bottom. This is the only meter, it's got a Cat 4 rating. It looks funky. Of course this meter has chemicals that is known in the state of California to cause cancer. Drop rating, 10 feet. Dust and waterproof. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the packaging here, but I can see why they did that. You can see down here is the pack for moisture. Nice. Plastic going everywhere around the office. Eat that shit. Yeah. Rocket batteries. <laughs> hmm. Wow, that thing is tiny. I do like it. <laughs> yeah, look at the gasketing on this. <laughs> it's like this lid, to get this off, that's a very tight seal. <laughs> I can believe this thing is watertight. <laughs> so let's put some batteries in it. Sounds like it's got a relay in it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we'll give her a shot here. Tighten up the screws and we'll go through a functional test. Eh, this thing is slick as snot. You hit the uh, voltage here and it figures out is it AC, DC? I mean, <laughs> there's not even a switch for AC versus DC. It just does it for you. This is pretty cool. Huh. Going to beep mode, it's got a little LED on it. <laughs> huh. yeah, this is cute. This thing is rugged. I can't uh you can't tell from the video of it, but I'm telling you this case here is thick. <laughs> I think uh you could drop this thing from whatever. It's so light, there's no mass to it, and man, it is just heavy duty. I can't believe that uh, this is a $50 meter. Well, <laughs> I'll test out good though. <laughs> it's got a funky shape. Okay, let's go ahead and hit it. So that's it. We'll go ahead and functional test it here. I'll tell you, so this is an MM500. We notice in the back here, I don't know if you can see this, made in Korea. You know what other meter was made in Korea? This one here. Again, uh, by far the best meter that uh, I've run through these tests yet. I'm waiting for something to dethrone this thing so I can throw it away. Or test it up higher and uh, actually blow something up in this thing. So, yeah. Uh, let's functional test it. I don't want to do a review of these meters other than really just a transient testing. But, again, one of the reasons I think that this meter is going to do so well. You notice here, like even for resistance. See the range on this? I mean, that's pretty much the limit. So right now, I've got it uh, connected to a 10K ohm resistor, and you can see it's uh, open circuited. So this meter just does not have a lot of functions. And because of that, being so simple, it probably does its job as far as measuring battery voltage and stuff for automotive very well. 
you don't typically need a lot of high resistance measurements in automotive and again it's very rugged I think it's meant to be sitting out in the garage somewhere so I think with these tests it's probably going to do very well just because it's such a simple design and functionally uh, this meter does pass so it goes on to the next round